Praise the Lord, everybody. We're ready for the word of the Lord for 2021. We're going to start off with some praise and some worship. Hallelujah. The songs go a little bit just like this. Praise Him. From the rising, from the rising of the sun until the going down the same. Jesus, Jesus is worthy. He's worthy to be great. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, Jesus. How many of y'all know about that name? Jesus. the name of Jesus because at the name of Jesus every knee has got to bow and every tongue has to confess that Jesus is Lord I don't know about you on today but on this New Year's Eve midday service I've learned to call on that name Jesus because I know that when you call on the name Jesus there's healing in the name of Jesus there's deliverance in the name of Jesus. I need somebody right where you are begin to lift your hands and, and begin to call on that name. He's the bright and morning star. He is my peace. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Somebody lift up their voice and call on the name of Jesus. Jesus in the morning. Jesus in noonday. Come on. <laughs> Blessed Savior, He's worthy to be praised. Come on, can you clap your hands? Begin to open up your mouth and call on the name of Jesus. Somebody praise your Savior, praise the Redeemer, praise the one who set you free. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we tell you thank you, God, today. We thank you, God, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, God, for your love and your kindness. So, Lord, God, as we enter into your word, Lord, we pray, Lord, that uh, you speak a revelatory word, God, of what you're saying to us in the new year. God, we've had a challenging year in 2020, and, God, we need you to speak. God, we need you to articulate, God, on what is to come in the new year. God, allow your word, God, to fall on good ground. God, to that person who's watching, to that person who's been doubting, or the person who's on the verge of giving up. Lord, we pray, Lord, that this word catapults them, God, into the future. God, we thank you, Lord, that this word, God, shall propel us, God, into the new year. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, say to God, begin to open up your mouth, put your hands together. Thank God. Amen and amen. Look. 
I am excited about this word, y'all. I am excited about this word, and I want you to turn your Bibles to. Uh, we're going to start in the Gospel of Luke. Luke, the fifth chapter. I'm going to read from a few different passages of scripture, but it's all going to make sense in a little bit. Thank you all so much for viewing live. Y'all know I can't sing, but my heart is right. I love God. I love him with all my heart. Uh, so thank you all for coming on this midday service. Amen. I'm excited about this word and what God has been speaking to me. Luke, the fifth chapter, starting at verse number five and six. Uh, but Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the nets. And when they had this done, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets was breaking. So they signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. Uh, I want to flip over to John 21 and 3. John 21 and 3 says, Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, we are going with you also. They went out and immediately got into the boats, and that night they caught nothing. Verse 6 declares, and he said to them, cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast, and now they were not able to draw it in because of the multitude of fish. Thank you all. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. So people of God, for the whole month of December, the Lord has um, been tugging in my spirit about getting in position. Um, so within the first Sunday, the first four Sundays of December, uh, the Lord began to tell us to get back in position on the altar. Uh, the second Sunday, uh, he began to tell us to get in position uh, at the throne of grace, getting back to the place of grace. And then on the third Sunday, the Lord, he commissioned us to get back to the place of worship. And then on this past Sunday, the fourth Sunday of December, uh, the Lord began to tell us, right, to get back into the position of prayer. Um, so uh, as the Lord began to tell us in December to get back in position, I was like, Lord, you know, when is the fun going to start? Like, I know you ain't going to leave your boy hanging out like this. Lord, there has to be something else to this. And, and the Lord's been sharing me about uh, preparing our hearts, preparing our minds, preparing our souls uh, for what he is getting ready to do into 2021. So once again, all right, getting position on the altar, uh, the place of grace, worship, and in prayer. So when we begin to um, look at the disciples, people of God, the Bible says that they toiled all the night and they had caught nothing. All right, so they're in a season that they are going without. They're in a season where they are lacking. And in the midst of their deficiencies, all right, Jesus still tells them to let down your nets for a catch or for a drought in the King James Version's translation. So I began to ponder and wonder, Lord, uh, these people, they had nothing at all. They caught nothing. This was their occupation. This was their profession. But in John 21, Lord, you tell them to catch your nets on the right side of the boat. Catch your nets on the right side of the boat and you will find some. And the Bible declares that they cast and that they were not able to draw it in because of the multitude of fish. Now, uh, this is one of my favorite passages of scriptures in the Bible about uh, whenever the disciples are on water and they're, they're searching for fish and it's, it's all about responding to adversity. So this is one of my favorite passages of scripture in the Bible. So I, I began to ask the question, Lord, you, you had them in a season of catching nothing. And all of a sudden, supernaturally, you allowed them to bring in a great multitude. Lord, I need you to explain to me the situation that you were trying to articulate to us. And, and I began to want to say, Lord, how is it? I mean, I understand the logic about the supernatural. I know there's nothing too hard for God. I understand it. But Lord, how in the world did you allow all of these fish to accumulate all right, in one place at the same time. And the Lord began to speak to me. He said the answer can be found in 2 Corinthians 9 and 8 on how he was able to bring the fish all together in one place. Here it is. Here's, here's your scripture. The Bible says, according to 2 Corinthians 9 and 8, all right, I'm reading from the Common English 
Bible, okay? The common English Bible. And then I'm going to read the other translation. All right? 2 Corinthians 9 and 8, and I'm getting ready to prophesy. I'm getting ready to tell you what the Lord has telling me for your life in 2021, okay? For those of you uh, with the reign of praise and those connected to our ministry, I'm going to release what the Lord is saying to us. All right? 2 Corinthians 9 and 8 from the common English Bible translation. God has the power to provide you with more than enough of every kind of grace. That way, you will have everything you need always and everything to provide more than enough for every kind of good work. All right. So here goes your word. All right. For 2021. Okay, are y'all ready for this? I need y'all to get ready to share this what the Lord deposited in my spirit. So, so as I was in prayer, all right, the Lord began to reveal to me on this past Monday, all right, early in the morning. Uh, the Lord said, I have seen your depletion, all right? I began to hear that word depletion, depletion, depletion. And when you look at that word depletion, depletion means exhaustion. It means tiredness. It means weariness. And the Lord began to say, Ricky, I've seen your depletion. And when you look at the text, the disciples, they are depleted. All right. They've put the time in. They put the work in. But as I was in prayer, and, and when I heard the word depletion, 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 that, that, that we're in a season that we've been empty. Yes, we've been blessed. Yes, we still have our jobs. But some of us in some seasons of our lives, we become depleted. Here it is. So the Lord began to say, Ricky, I've seen your depletion, but I'm going to give you more than enough. So for those of you who are connected to our ministry, all right, your word for 2021 is the year that God does more than enough. I need somebody to get excited that you may have been depleted in one area of your life, but in 2021, God is getting ready. He's getting ready to release more than enough, okay? All right, so let me teach this the right way, okay? More than enough, more than enough, more than enough. All right? So, he's, he says that I, I've seen your exhaustion. I, I've seen the lack in those certain seasons that you were going through your situations. I, I've seen a decline in your health. I've seen you depleted. I've seen every sacrifice that you made. Because when you look at the text, when you look at the Bible, all right, the disciples, all right, they caught nothing, but they stayed out there and worked their assignment. So, so, so they were faithful to their assignment. They, 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 they gave the Lord, they gave, they put in a sacrifice. And, 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 and some of you all, you, you, you've sown seeds all year long and, and God says I, I've seen all the sacrifices you have made and, and he's seen all the love and the passion you have put into your assignment to, to even cover your family members I, I've seen the times when you covered them in prayer and when, when they could not pray for themselves and, 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 and it pulled a lot out of you it extracted a lot of energy and, and stress began to build up anxiety began to build up and so it caused depletion it caused it caused you to be mentally fatigued. It caused you to be weary and tired in your well-doing. And God says that I've seen what you have invested. I, I've seen you put the time in. You, you've labored before the people of God. You've been depleted financially, depleted in your business. Your family, they took a turn for the worse. And, and it seems like your faith even became depleted. It seemed like you were on the verge of giving up, having a mental breakdown. It seems like you were depleted and, and it seems like there was no hope was there, but God told me to tell you that he's getting ready to give you more than enough for everything that you need. And for those of you who've been lacking strength in this season, in the middle of 2020 for the whole year, God is getting ready to give you more than enough. For those of you who've had financial challenges, God told me to release over your life that in 2021, he is giving you more than enough. He's giving you more than enough grace. He's giving you more than enough favor. God is giving you more than enough power. I need somebody put in the comments more than enough so here it is people got Jesus he basically tells the disciples I know that you're depleted 
but you can't quit now because I got so much more that I'm getting ready to do in your life. I don't know who I've come to encourage somebody today, but you can't quit now. You cannot give up now because God's got so much more that he wants to do in your life. I've seen the depletion, but I'm getting ready to turn that situation around because I'm getting ready to give you more than enough. And I just sense it in the spirit that in 2021, God is turning the tables. He's, he's shifting some things in your favor because he's getting ready to release more than enough. He's getting ready to give you more than enough. So the Lord told me that he's getting ready to give us more than enough. He's giving you more than enough. Why, Pastor? Why is the Lord giving me more than enough? It's in 2 Corinthians 9 and 8, Common English Bible. It's because God has the power. All right, I'm in the text. Don't miss it. 2 Corinthians 9 and 8, Common English uh, Bible. All right, those of y'all, don't, don't go there no more. The King James Version, and God is able to make all grace. I'm reading from the Common English Bible. All right, it says, God has the power to provide you with more than enough. So the reason why God uh, is going to give you more than enough is because God's got the power. All right, the reason why he's going to give you more than enough is because God's got the authority because he is sovereign because he is the creator of all things. So that is the reason why God is going to give you more than enough because God can and can and God will. So so and just because he can, the word of the Lord says that God is able. And when you look at the scripture, all right, 2 Corinthians 9 and 8 the word of the Lord says uh, in the King James Version, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you. When you begin to break this word down and God is able to make, that word to make in the Greek, it means to excel. All right, it means to super abound in quantity and quality. Uh, this word excel, all right, this word means to make, it means to be superfluous. It means to make more. It means to have more abundance. It means to increase. It means to go over and beyond. And the Lord is saying that you may be depleted, but I need you to get ready to excel. That in 2021, you, you, you were stressed out in 2020 for the whole year, but in 2021, God's going to see fit that you excel in every of your life. I just feel a release of acceleration of God. That God is going to give you an acceleration anointing. That everything you touch, everything you find your hands to do, is going to accelerate. It's going to progress. God's going to cause that thing to function. God's going to cause that thing to move. But you gotta be sure, all right, that you're in a place of position, that, that you're in position. So God says that, that, that you empty out to, to everybody else, but you're getting ready to accelerate. I'm about to call some things to speed up in your life. That you're getting ready to excel, you're getting ready to accelerate, you're getting ready to soar, you're getting ready to surpass all the naysayers, what they said about you, all the lies they told, all the times they talked about you. God says you're getting ready to excel in 2021 God is getting ready to exceed your expectations you're getting ready to prove everybody wrong in 2021 they looked at you and said you ain't about nothing you ain't got nothing but the last time I checked Deuteronomy 28 and 13 lets me know and the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath. Look, I came to prophesy over your life that in 2021, God is getting ready to cause you to get ahead. That if at first you felt behind, all right, you got behind track. But in 2021, as the Lord begins to release more than enough in your life, more than enough in your care, you are getting ready to come out on top 20. 21 will be the year that you accomplish your goals and you will break record. It will be a record breaking year for some of you all look people of God I need y'all to hear me I'm, I'm not done you are about to be so blessed I wish y'all can see this thing in the spiritual realm you are about to come out on top you are about to begin or right, to do some things that you've never done before God is about to blow your logical mind God is getting ready to do some amazing things in your life and the reason why God is getting ready to release you and give you more more than enough. Why? It's because of the 
grace of God. That's what it's all about. Why the fish began uh, to show up at the same time with the disciples. It was because of the act of grace. God, he extended his grace. So that, Lord, we don't even understand that sometimes the supernatural, sometimes like, we try to figure it out. We try to rationalize what's going on. But God said in 2021, don't even try to figure it out. It's just because of my grace. So it's because of the grace of God. So in 2021, here it is. I need you to get in position. All right. I need you to get in position to excel. I need you to get in position to accelerate. And I need you to get in position to come out on top. Let me get it, give it to you again. I need you to get in position to excel. All right. To accelerate and to come out on top. So the disciples, here it is in the text. They toiled all the night long, but they still had an influx. They were weary, they were discouraged, but they still experienced significant increase. They were going through, probably didn't understand the season that they were in, but they still had supernatural release and supernatural favor. Why? Because they had more than enough. And it was all because of the grace of God. So when we look at the scripture from the New King James Version, and God is able to do what? Make all grace. Pastor, what is grace? Grace is the benefits of God. Grace is the unmerited favor of God. Grace it is the gifts that God bestows upon his people. All right. So, so when we look at the scripture and God is able to make all benefits to come toward you and God is able to make what? All favor come toward you. So, so, so the grace, it is the goodwill and it's the favor of God that Christ extends towards us. So whenever uh, you look at this scripture, you have to look at it from a different context. That if I can just get in position and get in the place of grace, get back on the altar, continue to worship God and get my prayer, then God is going to give us a grace that is going to favor us. So the Bible says that God has the power. Mm -hmm. A pastor, I don't understand. I, you know, I hear what you're saying, but I, I really don't understand. You're talking about God has the power, that God has the grace, and it's getting ready to abound toward my way. Lord, uh, pastor, I don't understand. Like, how in the world God is going to give me more than enough? Let me say it again, because God has the power. That's why he anointed David at a young age. That's why he used a prostitute to hide the spies. That's why God could use a whale to swallow up Jonah. That's why God could use a raven to feed the prophet Elijah. It's because God can and God God will because he has the power. He's sovereign. All the men and the power belongs to him. So God, he has the authority. Once again, I need you to get in the spirit. All right, once again, let me say it one more time. I need you to get this. God has the power. He has the authority to do whatever he wants to do. He created the heavens and the earth. So he can cause what to happen, all right, to happen whenever he wants to happen. Just like the disciples with the fish. He just caused it to happen because he extended his grace. He has their right to do it because he is God. All right. So the text says, 2 Corinthians 9 and 8 from the Common English Bible. All right. God has the power. Let's read the rest of this. To provide you with more than enough. Here it is. Of every kind of grace. What in the world? I ain't never seen that before. All right. God has the power to provide, to release, to give. All right. You. All right. This is, it gets a little personal now. With more than enough of every kind of grace. Every kind of grace, every kind of favor, every kind of benefit is all that God can do for you that you can't do for yourself. <laughs> I feel like preaching. Let me say that one more time. All right. I'm talking about the every kind of grace being a distinctive, unique, anointed, appointed type of grace. That every kind of grace is the thing God can do for you that you can't do for yourself. You've been trying to get that door to open for you. But God says in 2021, I'm going to open the door for you because I'm going to do something you can't do for yourself. You've been trying to land a business contract. You've been trying to say get your family members saved, and it's been hard for you to do. But God says in 2021, I'm going to release, I'm going to dispatch my grace, my grace in your life. And we are going, oh, pray for me. I'm going to dispatch my grace in your life. And I am going to release it to you. Y'all pray for the path. I'm getting a little too excited over here. Let me let me get my camera together. Lord Jesus, pray for them. All right, I'm getting excited. Hold on, pray for me. All right, so so God, He has the power. Somebody shout power. 
He has the power, all right, to release it in your life, okay? Let me get my stuff together. I got a little excited. So I'm still on that every every type of grace, okay? Every kind of grace. <laughs> all right, so, all right, it's the grace, all right, that you can't do for yourself, all right? Are y'all following me? All right, so, so this type of grace, it is called God's supernatural grace, all right? Supernatural grace where God is, he's giving you the funding. He's giving you the resources, all right, to pay off debt, all right? And, and, and for those of you, I, I, look, my faith is at another level. All right, for those of you, all right, who, who got debt, all right, student loan debt, credit card debt, business debt, God is going to give you more than enough to pay your debt off, all right? It may not happen for everybody, but for a few of you all, all right, God is going to see fit, all right, he's going to extend his grace to you, all right, he's going to give you more than enough funding, more than enough resources to pay off your debt, all right? This is called the supernatural grace of God, that he's going to give you more than enough. For those of you, all right, in real estate, looking for land, looking for property, some of you pastors are looking for church buildings. I, Lord, I'm just, I'm, I need something new. I'm, I got my eye on this. I got my eye on that. For every land you're looking at, all right, God is going to hear, God is going to give you more than enough to purchase it, okay? For those of you who didn't have enough down payment for your house in 2020. I, I, I was in position, I, I got my credit together, but I still didn't have enough funding. I still didn't have enough to close on the deal. Uh, but the Lord told me to tell you, I need you to get in position, go back on Google, go back on Realtor.com, go back and look at your house and get yourself in position because in 2021, God is going to give you more than enough meaning that not only are you going to get what you've been designed, but you're also going to have some more left over. And I just need about five to ten people to begin to lift your hands and begin to worship God right now for the leftover. Lord, you're going to give me some, and I'm going to have some left over to bless somebody else. Lord, you're going to give me some, and I'm going to have, a, uh, have enough left over to be a blessing to somebody else. More than enough. More than enough. Get that in your spirit. More than enough. So he says that way you will have everything that you need. I kind of released and prophesy over somebody's life right now. You don't ever have to worry about lack another day of your life. For those you've been struggling, all right, lack shall be no more. All right, this will be the year, here it is, where God exceeds your expectations. In 2021, I need you to get this in your spirit that for the past several years, five, ten years, you've been struggling your whole life trying to get this together and you, you progress and then you digress and you move forward, move backwards, take two steps forward, take three steps back. And I'm just out of whack. But God says that this is going to be the year where he exceeds your expectations. All right. The Bible says now to him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask a thing according to the power that works in us. So child of God, you need to get yourself ready. You need to get yourself positioned because God is about to blow your mind. He is going to give you more than enough in this season. And, and you know, sometimes, you know, after you get done paying your bills, uh, you feel depleted and, and you're like, dang, I just... I just paid my light bill, paid my car note, paid my insurance, and it seems like you don't have enough left over. That, uh, dang, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to get ahead. I'm trying to save for this. I'm trying to save for my business. I'm trying to save for this project. But God says he's getting ready to exceed your expectation, that he's going to give you more than enough. Lord, I got to pay for this. Lord, I got to pay for that. But God, he is turning the tables and he is shifting it in your favor. He's giving you more than enough. So here we are in the text. All right. He's going to give you more than enough of every kind of grace. That way you will have everything you need always. And in everything to provide more than enough for every kind of good work. All right. So when we look at this in the New King James Version, it says, and God is able to make all grace toward you, abound toward you. That you, here goes my word, have always having all sufficiency. All sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work. 
So when we look at the word sufficiency, sufficiency is having enough. It means adequate provision. It means adequate supply, especially in the form of wealth. So when, you, when you're sufficient in something, it means that you have a surplus. It means that you have an over of abundance in a particular resource or a product. All right, so so I need you all once again to get in position and even of a wealth transfer. All right, that, that God is going to see fit. All right, that wealth is being released in your life. And for those who don't know that, I have an anointing for real estate and for wealth. And for those of you who want to receive it, I want you to lift your hands right now and say, Lord, this is my word right now. Lord, that I am going to have sufficiency in all things. All right, now got that out the way. Instructions. All right, Pastor. All right, we can receive, you can receive this word all you want, but if you do not respond to it, all right, the prophecy, this word, all right, about God's going to do more than enough for you is it, it, it's, going to be uh, null and you can avoid it, all right? But th there, there has to be something that you do for the prophecy to be made manifest in your life, okay? So, to all my visionaries, all right, this is when you want to share this and tag your friends right now. To all my visionaries with ideas, all right, to all my visionaries with dreams, to all my visionaries who, who want to do big things, all right, that you had some things planned in 2020 that did not work out, okay, and, and they got canceled, they got postponed, they got held back. This is a message to all my visionaries with dreams and aspirations. This message is for all my business owners and entrepreneurs, all right, who provide a service or a product. All right, to your current and future prospective customers and clients. This message is designed to the leader of your family. If you're the one who prays and covers over your family, this message is for you. All right, that God, all right, he's going to give you more than enough. But in order for you to receive it, you got to get in position. All right. You, you, got, you got to connect with the right people to help you build what you're looking to build. All right. And, and, and when God does more than enough, you, you've been looking for the manpower. All right. You've been looking for the resources. You, you've been looking all right, for, for people to come in who can catch a vision and see where you're trying to go. You've been looking for the right relationships, the kingdom connections, kingdom partnerships. You've been looking for it, but you have to get in position. And whatever you've been working on, all right, that is in your spirit. All right, the thing that you cannot stop thinking about, Lord, I just you you, you got you got notes in your phone. All right, you 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 tell everybody about it every time. All right, you talk on the phone to your girl, girl. You know, I just oh, I can't wait till I get this. I can't wait till I do that. I can't wait till I start this. All right, so, so the thing, all right, that you have been researching in Google, the thing that you have been taking notes on in in Word document, and you've created PD files, you've, you've gotten your presentations and brochures together, you you got all these things together, all right, and, and, and you got the about us section together, you got your mission and your vision together, and, and you may not have got everything together in, 22, in 2020, but I need you to get in position because God is getting ready to give you more than enough. God, he's getting ready to give you more more grace. He's getting ready to give you more favor. He's getting ready to give you more influence. God is giving you more funding for the project, for the business, for the book. God is giving you more connections. God is giving you more partnerships. God is giving you more business deals. God is giving you more contracts, more clients, more peace, more power. This is the year in 2021 where God gives you more than enough. All right. So here it is. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make my point. I know I'm, I'm, I'm rambling, rambling around. All right. So you've been in position. You've been on the altar. You've laid it down on the altar. You've been at the throne of grace. You've gathered the place of grace. All right. You, now you're in a position of worship. Now you've been in a position of prayer. All right. The last thing. All right. I want to prophesy. All right. Get, talking about getting in position. I said, like, Lord, uh, you spoke to us for the first four Sundays of the year about getting in position. Lord, there has to be some kind of good turnout, some type of good outcome, some kind of good results by the end of the year. So that God, so God, he waits to the very last day of the year to release this word. He said, Pastor Ricky, get in position for, for the overflow. Get in position for the overflow. Now, when we look at the text, all right, the disciples, Jesus, he could have just given them a day's uh, meal. He could have gave, given them three or four or five fish. He could have. He could have given them, and they could have been satisfied. They could have been content. I've done my part for the day. 
I'm done for the night. He, once again, he could have. But why in the world did he give them a multitude? Why in the world would a God like that all right, bless them abundantly? All right, and God was telling me that in 2021 that it was some things that may have been held up in 2020, but I need you to get in position for the overflow. All right, then I'm going to cause you to receive more than enough because he's going to give us every kind of grace. And I want to release over your life that some of you all watching me right now, all right, you're going to experience, all right, that, that, that discipleship anointing. You're going to experience that disciples on the boat type of grace that, Lord, if you did it for them, then, Lord, you can do it for me. The Bible says that they tore all the night long and they caught nothing. And Jesus told them to cast the net on the right side of the boat and let down your nets for a drought. And the Bible says that they caught a great number of fish at first. They had nothing at first. First, they were depleted, but God gave them more than enough. And I come to prophesy and give you the instructions and your marching orders for 2021. I need you to get your nets together and begin to let it down for a drought. I need you to get your nets together and let it down for increase. Let it down for supernatural favor. Let it down for wealth because God is getting ready to give you more than enough. So here it is. All right. They caught fish from each and every direction. So they had to call on their partners. All right. They, they beckoned unto their partners. And the Bible says <laughs> that they filled their boats too. Do y'all see this? At first, they got their nets filled that the net began to break. But God gave them so much more than what they had that they had to call and beckon to their partners to help them carry on the load. And God, he, he is giving you a, a net breaking anointing. All right, that in 2021, here it is, God's going to give you more than enough. Blessings are coming from every direction. Blessings are coming from the north, south, east, and west. So I need you to get your stuff together. All right, raises are coming. Bonuses are coming. Contracts are coming. The blessings are coming. Your increase, your prosperity, it is coming in the realm of 2021. And with all of this overflow that God is getting ready to release in your life, my question for you is, where are you going to put all your stuff? Child of God, I, I, I'm getting excited for you. I need to know, all right, you need to start creating room. You need to start making plans. You need to start getting your team together. You need to start getting your, um, your contracts and, and your documents together because God is getting ready to give you more than enough. And for those of you who received this word, I need you to lift your hands right now and receive the blessing of the Lord. Receive your overflow. Receive your increase right now in the name of Jesus. And as I was in prayer yesterday, the Lord began to say, you may not feel that you deserve it, but God says you're entitled to receive it. Hallelujah. Let me say it again. All right, you may be like the disciple. I, you know, I've been out here all night. I really don't deserve it. Time for me to go home. Time for me to call it quits. You may feel like you, you don't deserve it. But God says because you've been faithful, because you didn't throw in the towel, that you are entitled to more than enough. For all the times you sowed seeds into everybody else, you prayed for everybody else, you gave to everybody else, and they still didn't give it back to you. You didn't you weren't looking for anything in return. For those of you who had mishaps, mountains to climb, valleys to maneuver your way through things happen all of a sudden unexpectedly in 2020 God says he's been preparing us for more than enough so I need you to get your blueprint together I need you to get your ideas get your team together get your plan time to get your strategy together get time to get those drawings together I need you to get your business plan together I, I need you to get your book finalized and published and start Googling, researching who you're going to connect to to, to fund your dreams, to, to publish what God has birthed on the inside of you. For those of you searching for property, go back and look again. Because God's going to give you more than enough for the land. He's going to give you more than enough for the building. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. Look, your harvest is on the way. Your breakthrough is on the way. Prosperity is on the way. Wealth 
increase is on the way. Why? It's because of the grace of God. And God is able to make all grace abound, attract toward you. Will you receive this word that in 2021, that this is the year where God does more than enough. I need you to get your faith intact. Arena praise and for those connected to us. He, if you're looking for strength, God is going to give you more than enough strength. For those of you, the, the Bible tells us that there was a woman in the Bible, the widow, her son uh, passed away. He, he ran out of breath. Elijah laid prostrate, laid himself on him. And he began to revive because God gave him more than enough breath. The woman with the issue of blood, she was depleted. Didn't have enough strength. But she continued to press toward the mark. She touched the hem of his garment. Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. And because she did not quit in her pursuit, she needed some more blood. And guess what? Jesus, he gave her more than enough. So it's just not about the materialistic and, you know, the increase and wealth, building the money and all this. That's all fine. But whatever you've been lacking, strength, peace, God is going to give you more than enough in 2021. He's going to give you the grace for it. Why? Because he's God. <laughs> he can do whatever he wants to do because he's sovereign. He created the heavens and the earth. He can dispatch fish toward one location at one time because he's God, because he has the power, because he has the authority. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for the word that in 2021, Lord, we increase our expectation. Lord, that you're going to do more than enough. Lord, you're going to bless us with more than enough. Lord, for those lacking strength and peace, Lord, you're going to give us more than enough. God, we thank you, God, for the enough. But, Lord, we just thank you, God. Lord, you're going to get ready to give us some extra stuff, extra incentives on top of what we already have. So, God, we position our hearts, our minds to receive from you that in this season we're expecting more. God, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen and amen. Look, God bless you, people. God, I got to go. I got to go. I'm sorry. I got excited. The camera knocked down, but y'all, y'all pray for me. <laughs> All right. Uh, by the way, by way of announcement, this Sunday we will officially be transitioning into our new location at Greater Community Church of Chattanooga, Church of God in Christ. Yay! <laughs> We've been at Orchard Nob Elementary uh, for three years now, and uh, things have just been flowing, so I want to give a shout out to Pastor J. Anthony Taylor and my church family, Greater Community Church of Chattanooga, for opening up your doors to us, to the Arena of Praise. Uh, this Sunday, we will uh, be having service at 1 o'clock, all right? Starting this Sunday at 1 o'clock, uh, so we want to invite all of you all, our designers working on the flyer right now, I thought I was going to have it for today, uh, but we didn't have it, uh, but it's coming, amen. All right, so this Sunday, great community, so we're excited about uh, transitioning over there and uh, being in the actual church facility. Uh, so I thank you once again, Pastor Taylor, for opening up your doors to us and uh, to the members of Arena Praise. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday. Look, y'all, I'm about to do my good preaching and teaching this Sunday uh, for our new series. You do not want to miss it. I'm going to start uh, advertising Friday night or tomorrow about what God is saying. It's going to be a real nice, authentic flow uh, from today into Sunday, all right, about God giving us more than enough. All right, I love you all, praying for you if you want to be saved. All right, all you got to do is confess that Jesus is Lord, believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, and you shall be saved. For those of you all who want to connect with our ministry, all right, reach out to me, reach out to our Facebook page, The Arena Praise. Hey, Pastor, I see where you all are going. Uh, I want you to cover me. I need a pastor. I need a church home. We would love to have you there at The Arena Praise, all right, where we'll be speaking blessings over you, covering you in prayer in Jesus' name. All right, God bless you. I'll see y'all next time. God bless.